Okay, Mr. Andrew, uh, what we're going to look at here is proper head position while breathing in freestyle. Okay, so what you're going to see here, right there, that was great head position, okay? Head turns and it's parallel to the surface of the water. If you look a couple of times, your eyes are a little forward and it looks like your head is lifting up and then watch what happens to your legs. So what we'll do is we'll pause it at that point. So right there you can see how your head is up and your hips drop down. So then your head looks back down. See how your hips come right back up? Now what we want to do is we want to think about just turning that head. There we go, where you're looking straight up in the air. And now your hips don't drop down as much. Okay, so if you see my hand, which is just a little bit out of the picture, we want your head to be kind of parallel with my hand. The hips are just a little bit down, but with enough practice, if you think about, you know, keeping your ear in the water when you go to breathe in, so let's say you're going to breathe to the right now, so you keep that left ear in the water. See, much flatter. That looks great. Head is down. You want to take a breath. Nice. Exceptional. Okay, so here you can match your head up with the angle of my hand. And so when your head goes up like that, remember that means our hips are going to drop. So we want to try and avoid lifting your head up. And we just want to turn it to the side. Good. So see when your head goes down, those hips come right up. So just think of, you know, when your eyes are looking straight down at the bottom of the pool, your hips are high. And then when you go to breathe, all you want to do is just turn your head. In this situation, just turn your head to the right. Don't try and look, lift your head up and look forward. Think about just looking to the side. You can see what happens to your body. Remember, it's a lot harder to move through the water with your body upright than it is flat. And you can also see how you're getting like that. That's the ideal head position. Nice and parallel with the surface of the water. Because if your head lifts too much, you end up getting so tired that you can't move through the water, and nobody wants that. That's a much better head position right there. Nice and straight. That midline is lined up with your body. Excellent. Okay, so you can see how that time we ended up lifting it up just a little high. And then here we keep going. So you can see how the end position of your head is great when you actually get that breath in. We just need to think about not lifting it up before we turn our head. So just take out you know, that one step where right now you're lifting your head and then turning it to the side. We just want to turn it to the side and not lift. I apologize if I keep repeating myself. Okay, here is your excellent backstroke. You're brushing your ears. Your head is back. Eyes are looking straight up. Look at those nice locked elbows. Now, if you notice, you're kind of swimming in a little circle because of, I'll show you in a second. So we can see how that arm just enters a little far out to the left. That's why we want to maintain brushing that ear until after it goes in the water. So you can see how that right arm goes in, brushes the ear, and then stays back a little bit. So we just want to try and do that on both sides. But your kick is great, tummy's up. We can try and lift that tummy up just a little bit higher. Okay, think about getting your belly button up. And then we look at a good consistent kick. And if you remember with our kick, we want to point our ankles as much as possible, right? Right. Nice. Great kicks. Okay, so we can think about just taking little kicks. You're pointing your ankles there. You know, keep practicing it. The more you kick, the better you're going to get at it, just like swimming. You know, the more you practice these workouts that I make for you, just keep doing them. And if you have any questions, ask, and you will get better, my friend. You will. Hope you enjoyed the movie.